Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited because I am doing a project share for what I have created with um, my design team package from KS Crafts. Um, you guys, she reached out and asked if I wanted to be a part of the design team. And of course I was like, yes, yes, I do. I absolutely love her dies. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into this. Um, I want to start by showing you this little project. So, um, oh, well, I just smudged that nail. My kiddo and I just painted my fingernails and I was being impatient. I created with her dies the coffee cup and tray and it's so cute, you guys. Um, it has so many different layering pieces. So for, I'm not going to open them because the lids are kind of like finicky to get on there where they hold, um, like securely. But, um, this is what it looks like. The tray has a couple different, um, pieces. So this pink portion right here, I did cut this out three times to give it some stability. And then I did use some pattern paper from Garden Party. And then it also has like this, um, accent piece right here around the edge of the trim. And then a really beautiful, like doily looking, um, bit around where the coffee cups go. I did have to use two different color uh, gold cardstock because I ran out of this one right here, but that's okay. So I did decorate them. Um, it does come with, you know, your little coffee sleeve. And then on the top, it does have a little portion where like you have your hole where you would drink from it. But I decided to use these little shaker circles. They fit perfectly. And the shaker circles were from my friend. They just fit like a glove. And then I just added some bows. And yeah, you guys, that is my little coffee cup um, tray. I absolutely loved making this. There is quite a bit of die cutting and the assembly process is very quick. Um, you just very, very simple. Um, oh, I did forget to mention that the paneling layering pieces, they are all stitched. And when there's like faux stitching, I don't stitch over it because then I think it kind of makes like, um, I don't know, it just makes it look funky. But this is the tray. This is like the layering piece right here. And then these are all the tray elements. And then it does come with a four ounce and I believe an eight ounce. I used two eight ounce cups. This is it right here. So this is like the base of your cup. And then you have a couple of these shapes right here. And then these are right here for the lid and you do have to cut them 12 times and there's three of each so and then there is also a small one I did not use this one yet though okay so next um just quickly show you next is this cotton candy die and it's so stinking cute it is a shaker and this is mine and this die right here, or this sentiment that says sweet, is also from KS Craft. And I did add some like sprinkly bits in there, like real sprinkles. <laughs> and then I just dangled a little bit of like um, this little tassel and this little bead. But yes, the, the little candy, cotton candy die is so stinking cute. And that is this die right here. It does also have like little faces if you wanted to put faces on it, but I knew that I was gonna be covering it up, so I, I opted to not use that. Okay, and then next we have, um, this would be perfect for Mother's Day. I just cut it out to show you. This is the large mom bag topper. I will be using this. My mom's birthday is next month, but I haven't figured out what I'm going to gift her yet. So this is the large one. And then there is also a small one. It's super cute. I love the little heart cutout detail. And that is this die right here. I just put them both in there. It does have like your layering elements for mom. So you can, you know, do different pattern paper or whatnot. Okay. So the next, um, I created, well, I put together, 
<laughs> this envelope box, you guys, it's so fun. I decided to step out and not use all pink. I wanted to use this beautiful like blue and mint green paper. So I did back it on like a mint green paper as well. This is the front of it. And you can fit quite a bit in here. I will show you here in just a moment. I did layer it um, on the front, but I only adhered everything to this top flap. This die cut right here was actually on packaging from my friend Wendy, and I plucked it off because I wanted to use it so bad and it was on the packaging that would otherwise get thrown away. Um, I wanna say that this die right here, Happy, is also from KS Craft. But let's go ahead and open it oh and again this also has like your faux stitching which is wonderful and you could adhere these but it's actually intended to open up and you can fit a very chunky card in here if you wanted to so i made some embellishments and they're kind of like mm, foodie sweet themed so these are the little ice creams that i made super cute. I did use garden party for this whole entire thing, but I tried to choose patterns that weren't so much like garden party and, you know, could be used on a summer project or whatnot. And on these ones, I did add a little seed bead dangle and some uh, like acrylic bows. And then next is this little watermelon and it is also a shaker. And on this one, I kept it very simple. I did just use some vellum, garden party vellum and then put the word sweet. So cute. And then you have your boba tea right here. You guys, I've never actually had one before. <laughs> I live in the middle of nowhere. We don't have anything like that, but I think it's so cute or your little Frappuccino, whatever you, you know, I think it is intended to be boba though, but I just put some sequins in there and then added a bow. And I'll show you these dies here in just a second. And then this is like a cutting board, um, but I decided to add some fun, like uh, fun fur to our eyelash trim. And then I did add like a star um, eyelet right there and then just this crepe paper uh, bow. And that is that one. And then these are the words, yummy, a treat for you. And the other one I believe says delicious. So I just die cut out a few of them and then just added some little sequins in there. And then this one I decided not to decorate so that my recipient can decorate it. But it's a little pastry bag, you guys. Look how cute that is. It's so cute. This is such a cute die. And clearly I need to get some different colored foam. This is the only color that I have left. And it's purple. But I'll go ahead and show you those dies really quick. This is your pastry bag. It's super simple. You literally have your pastry bag, the base, and then your shaker part, and it has like the tips. These are the words, and again, they have like the shadow effect. So I did show you all of those. And then this is the little like cutting board right here, and it does have a bow, a heart, and then it says baked cookies with love. It's so cute. I almost turned it into a shaker, but then I wanted to add the fun fur, so I didn't. This is the boba cup right here, and I, um, this is the smaller version, and I actually did not use the larger version because I wanted everything to kind of fit in this little boxed envelope. But I'll go ahead and show the larger one to you as well. This is the larger one, and they do have like little heads, like a little panda head. And I think the other one might be like a fox. And then these are the little boba things that you get in your drink. So cute. And then we have the shaker watermelon. You guys, these are so simple. I mean, there's four pieces if you wanted to cut 
you know, the little watermelon seeds, but I didn't because I was going to cover it up. And then this is the little ice cream. Again, super easy to put together, you guys. I love easy dyes. There's just a few pieces here. And then this is actually the, I need to put these in like my storage packaging, but this is actually the envelope die and it does come with a whole bunch of flowers and like some leaves and whatnot. And then I have not used these yet, but I wanted to share them. These are the cookie dies. They're super cute. And then I do plan on using them just probably at a later time. This is a pizza die. And it has little heart pepperonis, you guys. Isn't that so cute? And then I do have a plan to use these. I just haven't got around to it yet. But these are circle dies, you guys. And one side, there's actually two in here. Let's see, I'll open it. And I believe one is stitched and the other isn't. Yeah, so this one is not stitched. And then this one right here is stitched. It does have the stitch detailing. Anyways, you guys, that is what I have created so far with my first design team package from KS Craft. I cannot wait to get May's. There are so many fun dyes. I absolutely love buying their dyes. I mean, take all my money. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will catch you in the next video. I will also leave her um, AliExpress store link down below, and a lot of her dyes you can find on Amazon, you guys. So if you want it quicker, order on Amazon. I'm pretty sure the coffee cup dye is on Amazon now. Anyways, I will leave everything down below. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye, guys.